Opportunity knocks, 2013 rolls on. Brad Stutz and Cecil Scott in the commentary booth. And Cecil, this is a big grudge match that's been brewing for a number of months now, ever since Jason Miller returned to CWF Mid-Atlantic at the 350th live event. And he DDT Donnie on the floor. It echoed, it went off like a gunshot. It echoed throughout the building. And ever since then, Jason Miller has lived up to his name and been the difference maker. And right now, Miller and Donnie go one-on-one -on -one for the first time here ever since that fateful night where Miller returned and dropped Donnie on the floor. Yeah, there was just a creepy stunt silence over the crowd that night. I'll never forget it. And honestly, if you like fanfare, this may not be the match for you. Neither guy with music coming out here. It's all business. Yeah, it's going to be no frills, no nonsense. And Miller is not in any hurry to lock up with Donnie. Oh, kicked him off. No, Miller stays on his feet. Looks like we're going to go to the floor here, potentially. Oh, God, double sledge from Donnie. And Miller goes down to the canvas. And something I picked up on early here, Jason Miller appears to really be favoring his shoulder, and that might be as a result of that dive from Andrew Everett earlier on tonight. I think it was. You know, Miller was out here trying to uh, help the lost cause Nick Richards move on in the Weaver Cup tournament. It was not to be, but in the course of that matchup, Andrew Everett absolutely just wiped out Richards, Miller, and half of the front row with that great big dive, and I think you're right here. Miller is hurt, and this is this is really, Cecil, the first real chink in the armor we've seen on Jason Miller since he came back in May. This guy has been absolutely dominant. He's put Dangerous E. Corey Edsel on the shelf. He's put Mark James on the shelf, and he dropped Donnie Dollars hard on the floor. You know, this is the first time that we have really seen Miller look anything but invincible. Right, and you may not agree with his methods or anything, but I dare say this is the first time in the last few months that he has finally lived up to the potential that he had when he came in three years ago. Mm, shoulder block. And that may not have been a great move considering if that shoulder really is hurt. Miller going to the second rub. Double sledge, no! Like you said, no music, no fanfare, no frills from either man. Donnie Dollars. Oh God. oh, God. He lifted Miller up. Great show of strength there. Donnie Dollars has not used ring music ever since the decline of Fatback Enterprises. DDT, no! Man, that's the power by Donnie Dollars. Great move there from Miller, though. Oh! Took Donnie's head off. And, of Man. course, Miller and Richards, no respect for the sport, no respect for the fans. Cover. Woo! Oh. It looked like it was going to be three, but Robbie Walsh says only two. Man, it's almost a Stan Hansen lariat there. Richards and Miller with so little respect for the sport, no ring music, no ring gear, nothing. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's, I don't know, it seems like a minor miracle that they show up from time to time. DT, no, inside cradle. That's it. He got him. Three count. Donnie Dollars has won it. Oh, Miller's Miller. Done. Miller advances right ahead. Donnie Dollars has won this contest. DDT. Oh, God. Miller's best DDT. Just absolutely leveled Donnie. And Donnie may have won the battle. What are you going to learn? Miller said it's not about wins. When are you going to learn? He's got his foot on his chest. This is exactly what happened to Dangerous E. Corey Edsel back at Absolute Justice. And look at Richards just eyeballing Donnie. These two don't care about the Weaver Cup or what? anything like that. Richards said he didn't care about it. He just didn't want anybody else to have it. And you saw how little Jason Miller cares about the loss. Is there anything that Richards and Miller give a damn about?